Alrighty, YouTube, another one of Kip's clips. So, having a wee watch at the, today's UK column there, uh, I've heard this coming up in the news the last few days myself. Um, it, to a lot of people, it seems like a very small matter. Uh, and uh, I've recently stopped smoking. That's me about, what, five weeks in? Five weeks. No nicotine, no gum. No fake cigarettes, no nothing. Not anything in the way of nicotine gum, spray, uh, electronic fags, patches. Just complete cold turkey and I've done it for five weeks now. And I don't think I'll ever go back. But my position in this still stands the same. And that, um, hopefully I'm going to get through the bullcrap and um, talk about what really matters with this. And... A bit of a rant as well, because what this fucking moron has fucking said is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> but let's leave morons quote to the, the last. So I've seen this on the UK column, and they're talking about in the UK banning parents from smoking in cars uh, with kids in it. Um, in their private car. Now in America, man, the, the Americans won't believe that this is even getting debated. It's it's um it's an inclusion an inclu it's an intrusion into people's private personal lives. Now, this is why I wanted to speak about the important matter. The, the what the the narrative the mainstream media will paint as if you do not agree with this, then you're you're a child abuser. You think it's a good idea to smoke in a car with kids in it? No. I think people are free to do whatever moronic actions um, they want to do. Um, I don't believe criminalising people's ignorance, stupidity. I mean, it's, it's obviously not a good thing to do. Um, if people are on long journeys and um, they happen to have a nicotine addiction, which, by the way, props up a lot of governments in the way of tax revenue, um, I don't see any problem with them opening their window when they've got kids in the back and sneaking a, 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 a quick fag. Um, the majority of the smoke will go out the window and hopefully they will obviously be, like with myself, I know when I was a smoker and I was around kids, the amount of smoke went down because I always felt horrible smoking around them and like always, even, I never smoked in the house with them. Never smoked in enclosed spaces with them. Um, I have never smoked in a car with a kid. I've never done it myself when I smoked. Um, but I have no problem with people doing it. Uh, and I don't see... This This is just another revenue generator. Uh, and it's absolutely a complete encroaching... Uh, intrusion into people's private lives. Uh, what I wanted to really point out to you though, right... Um, I mean, anybody with, it, with the smallest bit of sense knows that this is a fucking joke, man. It's an absolute disgrace the way they feel that they can come into people's private spaces and uh, dictate to them. This is that. This is what they will try and make. Ultimately, people will turn around and go, "Well, you just think it's a good idea." It's what I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think people should do it. Um, I do not condemn people that do it. And uh, I don't know. Ultimately, when you weigh up the risks, everything's a risk, and people should be allowed to take those risks if they if they want, uh, no matter how daft or, or silly some people may perceive them. Right? But let's have a look at what uh, some of these so-called MPs, these Member of Parliament's people that are meant to represent people, and like even. The show that is the mainstream media and the and the quotes they put out the the rehearsal is the the rehearsal that is their statements. They just still sound like they're in cloud cuckoo land. So you've got Jeremy Cunt, right? Now this this is weird. The cunt actually said something resembling sense, but uh, of course that was uh, yesteryear. Now we're up to speed and on the party line. He's changed his mind. So. Um, is it to back a ban after previously warning it was not the state's toll uh, to dictate what people di do in private? So, even, like, um, 
God knows how long ago this quote was. But the man couldn't lower himself to, to tell and dictate to people what they do in private. Unbelievable. And now, of course, towing the party line, um, he's to back the hunt. Uh, the hunt. <laughs> he's to back the ban. Nick Clegg, well, he's a, cig a, a cigarette smoker, so um, he's not saying much about it. King Clark, he enjoys a cigar. Eric Pickles. Now, uh, my initial intention is to vote against it. We should make things criminal if we feel they are enforceable. So that's um, it's great in one sense that he thinks this is absolutely, like he's not going to vote uh, for it, but it's also retarded in another sense. He thinks that if they if they had a wee nanobot that could float about your about your motor and stop, make sure that you you, you couldn't smoke around your, your your kids, and if you did, you would get fined. He'd be up for that. He'd be up. If we can enforce this shit, if we can get a drone or a spy cam, why don't we put a spy cam in everybody's personal car? I mean, we can't trust parents around their own children, can we? We are the state. They are our children, right? So we cannot trust parents around their own children. So let's install a spy car, a cam in everybody's car with a black box. Then we can see if they're smoking. And then... And then Eric Pickles will support it. All right, so that's how pickle this guy's not. Is this is what I mean by cloud cuckoo land? Are these actually people? Do they know what they're saying? Anyway, right. Um, so, um, Health Minister Jane Ellison, uh, we are not persuaded that legislation is the right way forward on this matter. That sounds reasonable. Uh, George Young, I see some difficulties in trying to enforce a ban uh, on all smoking in cars. So again, they can't even go. This is this is retarded. It's people's liberty to do what they want in private. Listen, the moron, the biggest one. Now this is a fucking disgrace to the human race, man. David Moron, whatever people, and and this is scary. This is your dictator. This is what this guy fucking thinks. This is this guy's attitude, and a lot of people like him. And uh, like, see when I like uh, read this. I'm not even joking, and I'm not even a science fiction fan, but this is what I think of, man. The Borg, I mean, like, oh, the Borg, like, but listen, like, go and listen to, like, um, I've not even watched many of them, but, uh, like, we are the Borg, is it, where is it, where's the statement I've seen? Is it this one here? Is this one here? We are the Borg, you will be assimilated, right? Your biological and technological disadvantages will be added to our own. That's imperialism. Uh, let's go and take over the, the, the dumb monkeys over there. Let's go and rape and pillage their lands because we deem them to be less than human. <coughs> and that's still going on to this day. Uh, to a lesser degree and less obviously, but that these people do think they are better than you. Listen to what this guy says. Um, uh, or like whatever people have done in the past, the facts show um, that they really should change their behaviour. Right? The facts show people should change their behaviour. So no, like, ah, Jesus, I'm bad for doing it. People should change their behaviour. I know better. The facts. The facts. The facts. I am not sure whether it is possible to legislate in that area. We need a... We need a change in attitudes. Attitudes. Now I'm fucking sorry. When, 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 when did the government rock up one day and think it was part of their job description to change people's attitudes, change people's behaviour? I'm pretty sure they're meant to be working for us as servants. Like this is the way that I would define government if you were to justify it to protect us. The people, um, well, the government's meant to be for the people, by the people, all that stuff. But it's meant to protect us against corporate uh, corporations, against um, the banks. They're meant to be our protector. Um, they're working for the corporations, and this guy's coming in, and he now, like, listen, like, what was it? I, I jotted down when I was thinking about this, man. Um, when was it the, like the government's job to change people's behaviour? Um, to change behaviour? Uh, what was it? Being the collective. Like, I, who? What behaviour? And what attitudes? Where's the where's the god to deem whose attitude is bad? 
what attitudes need changing, what behaviour needs changing. This is this is disgusting, and this is this is what I meant by the Bjork. They, they don't even respect people have a different fucking point of view. They really don't. Fuck you. If you want to smoke, you smoke what? You, and this is the attitude of the people that are taking over, not this country, the world, common core, common communism, common purpose. Um, I mean, Jesus, where, where else was it I heard the, the common coming out? Go and look into different structures in different countries and what's happening right now. And what you'll, th what, what you'll see, and which has been quite rightly um, pointed out, that there's, there's this private sector that's running everything. No longer are governments and institutions there up there in the, 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 the decision-making pro, uh, processes. The, the, they've latched on a third sector onto these with all these NGOs and uh, like um, political charities, so on and so forth, and they're controlling the people inside the institutions to carry out fucking common agendas. Look around you, people. It's all coming to the one place, and you may. And as I said, I don't even smoke anymore. So you think I'd blow? Oh, but I'm not worried to dict dictate to people my beliefs. Who the fuck am I to force my beliefs on any somebody else? If they <clears throat> believe that they, that it's okay to smoke in cars with their kids, so be it. It's not. And David fucking moron. Better get this in, he's not as well. It's not the fucking government's job to change people's attitudes and to change people's behaviours. Fucking disgusting, man. And, uh, Look how much worrying information, all from a, a little small matter of a smoking ban. Jesus, I've rattled on enough. I've said to myself to stop trying to rattle on and drone on, make them shorter and stuff, but it's not happening. There's too much to say about these knob ends, man. Far too much. But they are trying to turn us into the Borg, right? So, just think if one day it's your point of view that they're coming after, and just outline ban it. Just ban it, man. You're fucked. You've got the collective coming after you, and no cunt will stand up for you because you're fucking, you'll be deemed, oh! Look at the way that, like, smoking ain't good, right? It ain't big, it ain't clever. It exists, people are addicted. I was unfortunately addicted to it myself for over 10 years, I smoked, man. And fingers crossed, that's me done for good. Watch your space, but about five weeks in, man, I've no longer... And I'm rattling on. Anyway, I'll leave a link for that stuff down below. But um, me, personally, I think that's an absolute disgrace. David Cameron coming out in a quote. And this shows you the mentality. The guys are saying this in public. It's getting printed in the press. And no fucking journalists picking up on this stuff. Nobody's got, nobody's questioning. We need, to we, we need a change in attitude. We need a change in attitude. Who's... This is all this nudging, wink, NLP, bull crap that's going on. They really are destroying people's fucking right to think for their fucking self. If it isn't already destroyed with the fucking school systems and the indoctrination centres, you really need to go and look into what... what, what uh, uh, see, man, I could fucking rant all day about this stuff because it is disgusting what they're doing to kids. And this is all part of it, man. The Stasi couldn't do anything worse. And do you know what? You got if this comes in force, you're going to have children and cars with their parents smoking, and the kids saying to the mum and dad, "I'm going to phone Childline on you. I'm going to report you." I've heard fucking kids shout at you, their mum, mums and dads when they're fucking disciplining them and stuff, man. And it's a disgrace. And it's a deliberate fucking change. It's a deliberate change in attitudes. It is a deliberate change in attitudes. Why? Because the government, the fucking two cheeks of the same arsehole, and fucking got everybody where they want them. They have changed your attitudes. They have changed society's attitudes to fucking where it is right now, and it's disgusting. Ran out of fucking time. But anyway, do bear that in mind. These morons are telling you out in the open straight, they are wanting to change your behaviour and your attitudes. Fuck your right to think for yourself. You're part of the collective. You will assimilate. And your biological fucking and technological defectiveness will be absorbed into our own. There you go. There's David fucking moron enough. That's what they all look like when they don't have their um, CGI's keeping up the shit, man.
Alright, YouTube, thumbs it up, all the links below, radio show and all that, leave your comments down below.